ahead and start off the second round of speeches. Firstly, I want to say thank you uh, to our parents for being here, Dad for hosting, Hans and Lori for being incredibly supportive, and host of the welcome reception. It's really been a beautiful weekend for Mark and I, and we are so excited to finally have this in progress and eventually over with. Um, so we've heard about how Kamal, you know, has set us up, but what y'all haven't really heard about is like the changes that Mark and I both went into before meeting each other and how that intersected. And so um, Mark and I met each other at a time when we were both going into uh, huge personal developments. I used to be very rigid, and I'm still rigid with the lowercase r, but I'm, I'm better now, and everyone who knows me can attest to this. And all of that change started happening around the time that I met Mark. I, I went through this, um, I call it my impulsive single summer, when I went on like these crazy trips and just you know did whatever I wanted to without asking anyone's permission. And from what I understand, that's how Mark has been his entire life before meeting me. Uh, <laughs> so it was good timing on my part. And then Mark toned down a little bit by the time I met him. He started focusing a little bit more and becoming way more professional. And the whole time that I've met Mark, or the, the whole time that I've known Kamal, I've been Mark curious is what I've been calling it. I, I was very, like, for the five years before I met Mark that I was really good friends with Kamal, I was always like, hey, when can I meet Mark? Because my friends know this. When two of my friends don't know each other or when a friend of mine doesn't know me, it makes me very uncomfortable and I'm pushy about it. And all of y'all are shaking your heads right now because I'm like a connector. I'm in the entertainer. And so when Kamal had this best friend that I did not know who it did not matter if you were a girl or a boy, I was like, I need to meet Mark because if Kamal loves him so much, you know, he's going to be my friend too. And Kamal the whole time was like, it's not the right time. I cannot have my high school friends hating my college friends. It'll never integrate. And it took years. It took years of us breaking Kamal down until that fateful day when he finally got a visa to come here that we orchestrated this whole crazy trip to go meet, like, this guy we didn't even know in New York and just hang out with him for a weekend. And, like, the rest is history. Um, so I'm very happy to be here today. And this would be the moment in the speech in which I would thank myself for throwing such a beautiful wedding and doing all of this while being in law school. And working. But I'm not going to do that because it's tacky. Uh, <laughs> and instead, I'm going to thank all of y'all for attending. Um, some wise parents of a friend of mine once told me recently that you can have an entertainer who can plan a party. But the people at the party make the party, and so the entertainer can only get so much credit. And so really, it's y'all here tonight who make this wedding so good, who, like, drove here in literally freezing weather this morning <laughs> to, like, be here outside in tents. And, uh, like, I really, we both thank you so much, and we're so happy to be here. And we just cannot wait to start dancing, because, like, really, that's why we're all here. So uh, please enjoy dinner, enjoy cake. Cake cutting will follow the speeches. And again, please come up to us and say hi. We're trying to make our rounds, but it's hard to get anywhere. Um, but thank you so much. We love y'all. And Aaron, my ma matron of my maid of honor, is going to be next. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, hi. Uh, Thank you guys so much for coming. My name is Erin. If you have not met me, um, I'm the maid of honor. And so, hold on. I have it written on my phone. Technology. Okay. Um, so um, I am also one of Mariah's selected introverts that she so graciously, ad uh, graciously adopted. Uh, we met back in uh, Seabrook Science Magnet, which is a very interesting school. Um, and also, Mariah at that time was a Andy Warhol devotee, a uh, prophet of Cooperism, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also wore a tiara every day, so I, would, I was a little bit intimidated by her. <laughs> but um, after college, um, we decided to move in together, and since then, we um, uh, weathered so many things together. We weathered singledom together a little bit. We also had um, some toxic relationship stuff and uh, bonded over... America's favorite sponge, uh, Scrub Daddy, not sponsored. <laughs> but um, all that intimidation eventually melted away, and was left. I was left with um, love and awe. 
And uh, like any chaotic, chronically single best friend, I always felt like I knew exactly what Mariah needed in a partner. <laughs> um, Mariah's hardworking, sometimes to a fault. Um, so she needed someone that would help her build her dreams. Uh, Mariah is ambitious, so she needed someone that would represent her proudly. Mariah is smart and strong, and so she needs someone who can hold their own in a disagreement. <laughs> <laughs> and Mariah is kind, so she needs someone who will treasure her, care for her, and let her know that she has loved every day of her life. And when Mariah told me that she met an unemployed uh, former musician from New York City <laughs> who was going to be moving down to Houston to be with her, I have to say I was a little bit uh, skeptical. <laughs> Mark, um, first off, please stop sending me so many Instagram reels. <laughs> it's really, really distracting. <laughs> Second, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't wary of your intentions, but I am so very glad that you proved me wrong. And third, I've watched the two of you grow together in a way that could only be evidence of true love. I've seen you compromise and laugh and make incredibly impulsive decisions. <laughs> I've seen you consider and respect the needs of one another. I've seen your friends come together and become even better friends. I've seen you both become better in each other's care. And I absolutely can't wait to see the incredible future that you two build. I love you, Mom and Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Next step is Kamal. Hello. It's me, Kamal. When's the po wait. <laughs> Today's obviously a special day for everybody, but it's really surreal for me to attend a single wedding for both of my best friends at the same time. Sometimes I feel like I'm being given too much credit in making this happen. It was kind of weird because I was the one putting a stop to this before it ever happened. <laughs> Mariah's right. There were two friend groups, and they were never going to mix. One is the high school friend, and one is the college friend. And this rule was not changing. I don't know why I did it. I feel like I was too scared that the, job, the, the vibes were off. They wouldn't, wouldn't connect. So I made sure every high school hangout is high school hangout exclusive. Off limits to college friends, and vice versa. In fact, a year, or less than a year before Mark and Mariah met, I went to a Europe trip with Mariah to Europe in December. But I also went to a Europe trip with Mark, also in December, completely unrelated to each other. The stars are not aligning yet. They are not, the time was not ready yet. This two friend group rule was presumably going to go on forever. But it all changed when I got my U.S. visa. I was waiting for two years, and I was going to have a trip in the U.S. And this is my grand return. Everyone was going. The stupid two-group friend rule is not going to be there for a while. So I had to vouch for both groups, you guys. They're cool, trust me. <laughs> and I made sure that they're not going to embarrass me. And, you know, we got close, but <laughs> you guys made me proud. I don't know how this happened, but everybody got along as if they knew each other already. Now, granted, Mariah and Mark walked 700 hours already before they saw each other, so they were doing the work already. But fast forward today, and here we are. I don't know how else it could have been better than this. So, Mark and Mariah, I want to finish this up by saying my favorite traits about you guys. This is a speech about each of you, and so I want to get as much of it as possible in. There's so much to talk about, and I can only talk about one thing. Mark, I feel like your best quality is your loyalty. 
I've known you for over a decade now. It's been more than 10 years. And you've been there every single time. Which is weird because we only lived in the same city for two years in high school. Then he moved to Austin. Then he moved to New York. Then I moved to Saudi. Then I moved to California. We kind of never lived in the same city for more than two years. But he was always there. He was always there for me. You were in every chapter of my life. And I feel like you've been in every chapter of my life. And I've been in yours. And I want to wish you the best in your new chapter with Mariah. Mariah, I think your best trait is your drive. It's always been inspiring to me how you've always been able to juggle three things at once, one of which I can't do on my own, let alone three. You are literally the example of lead by example. You never, ever drop any of the balls. And you've always done it effortlessly, and just you doing that makes me want to push myself even more. Your drive is contagious, and I feel like it pushes everyone around you unconditionally almost. You are actually my true role model, and I want you to know that. I wish you happiness and joy with Mark, and I wish you the best for your next chapter with Mark. I hope you go see those traits in each other, and I wish you the best, and I want to thank you for being my best friends. My name is Katie, if you haven't met me. Um, I'm the matron of honor. Um, and uh, I'd like to start by saying thank you to Mariah and Mark for hosting such a spectacular wedding and allowing me to be a part of it. Um, I love you both, and I am so honored to be here. So Mariah and I have known each other for almost two decades. We met in elementary school and almost immediately became friends, bonding over a school project where we made a paper board game version of The Sims video game. <laughs> the friendship continued into middle school, where over the course of many sleepovers, we laid the foundation for our future as a party planning duo, following the guidance of a Tiki Luau book that Mariah had found at a thrift store, or possibly a library, it was a thrift store. Um, Later, we put that training to action, hosted many a Halloween party, movie night, dance after party, sleepovers, you name it, all the social events for our friend group. It was us. As Aaron put earlier, uh, or so eloquently phrased it earlier, Mariah was my extrovert. I would handle, you know, the decorations, food, activities, and Mariah would help with that as well, but what she would most importantly do was bring the people. And I don't think that I would have formed or kept half of the friendships I have now if it weren't for Mariah, who introduces me to so many wonderful people, always providing a thoughtful fact or detail about them to get the conversation started. <laughs> because that's what Mariah does, and one of the many reasons I love her so much. She brings people together. She's also single-handedly responsible uh, for my own marriage, so I owe her a lot. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Um, uh, Mark, I've known for less time. Um, we met not long into his relationship with Mariah. Um, I basically heard tons of stuff about him from Mariah over text, but I still didn't have a clear idea of who this guy even was. Just that he was cool and awesome was the gist. Um, we met at a party, and while I don't remember the details of that party, what I do, <laughs> what I do remember very distinctly was the drive back where I turned to my now husband, Nick, and said, actually we both said this to, to each other, we really like Mark. <laughs> we spent the entire car ride back trying to break down why we thought Mark was so cool and so awesome because it just, he really struck us. And we came to this conclusion that while, yes, Mark is a very unique and interesting person, very fun to talk to, um, he told us about time he spent randomly working on a farm, his home-brewed mead, his aspirations to learn how to hunt and then, then hunt a boar. Um, 
all of that very interesting stuff, but the thing that really struck out to us was that Mark seemed very kind. What we noticed that night was the cheer that Mark brought to the people around him, and most importantly, and most importantly of all, how happy he made Mariah even then. Since then, Mark has only confirmed and exceeded my first impression of him. From making handmade tables for Mariah to entertain with, clearly the party planning duo that we once had has now been passed on, um, to spontaneously following his heart and choosing to propose when the stars seemed aligned. I couldn't have chosen a better, band, a better man for Mariah to be bound in matrimony to, and I'm so overjoyed to be celebrating with y'all today. So, so I'd like to propose a toast um, to a lifetime of happiness to y'all both. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. And I believe Jen is next. Okay, come on up. And thank you everyone for waiting. I was the one who went to the bathroom. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, and for those of you who don't know me, I'm Jennifer. I am the maiden of honor. It's a very unique role that I was bestowed, I'm very grateful for. Um, and um, yeah, I've known Mark over a decade now. Uh, and I'm just going to touch a little bit upon my favorite memories of Mark. Um, <laughs> Mark just said, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, one of my first memories is um, when I first saw Mark in high school, and he had shoulder-length hair and, you know, cut-off T-shirt of a questionable band, uh, and, I, and he had a, a chain attaching to his wallet. And I remember walking up to my mom and asking um, permission to be friends with him. <laughs> I was like, is he dangerous? <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, and she said yes, which started uh, this very long friendship that we've had. <laughs> um, and um, just to talk about Mark and who he is, um, any of his interests that kind of has been mentioned, uh, he goes wholeheartedly into, whether it be mead brewing or Mongolia. He can throat sing. I don't know if y'all knew that. <laughs> Mongolian throat singing, which he taught himself, which is very impressive um, and really amazing. And um, one of my favorite memories of when Mark was going wholehearted into something is um, he got into working out and lifting. Um, and at one point, he gathered us uh, up in a little weight room to show off his squat and busted his jeans <laughs> in front of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and went through the st seven stages of grief right after. <laughs> and it was, it was fantastic. Um, it's really funny. Um, but, uh, but no, but Mark really does wholeheartedly go into everything, and he's always been that way. Um, and then uh, sort of time passes, and Mark's gone through lots of ups and downs and kind of all over the, literally the yeah, continent as well as abroad. Um, and then at some point starts mentioning this girl he's been messaging over Facebook. And actually, I want to claim this. I met Mariah before Mark did um, years ago. And he just started talking about her. And then when, when I was on the New York trip, I saw, I saw the magic happen, um, so to speak. Um, but what's really funny is that since I met them separately, I would never have imagined that the, these two people would go together. And when I was trying to write this speech, I was trying to think of a phrase to describe y'all. And it, the one that came to mind was surprisingly perfect. And it, it has been shocking because Mark is a lot of a person. Uh, and as it turns out, so is Mariah. <laughs> and so 
it's just, it's really been amazing, uh, you know, to watch both of y'all come together and work together just as well as y'all do. And weirdly enough, now, I feel like I cannot imagine someone better for either of you <laughs> than the two of you together. So I'm so glad that we're all here. This wedding has been amazing. And I'm really, really excited to see what y'all do with your lives together. Of course, thank you. So now I'm going to cue this myself. We're going to do the cake cutting and then get on with the grand march and then we'll start to dance, which is what I'm the most excited for. Woo! 